Welcome to part 6 of Gex Free Deep Cover Gecko. Alright, so we're heading to the Buccaneer program now. We've just finished the army channel. Look at us, we are a boss, we've got four remotes. And I realised, once I finished the last episode, that there's actually two poor coins back here. Two poor coins for crying out loud, look at that. Beautiful. And if we go through here, there's a bonus stage, ignoring the TV with legs. Destroy the 10 res tanks. Okay. Oh my god, look at us, we're in a tank again. I love this. I love the tank. And I love destroying anything with the name res in it. That's our mission in life here, people. Destroy res. And like I said, right at the ep uh, right at the start of this let's play, um, I've never actually completed this game before, so... When I defeat res, and I will defeat res, it's going to be a happy moment. It's going to be a really, really happy moment. So, we just got to destroy 10 tanks that are just wandering around doing absolutely diddly squat. That is like one of the first times I've ever used the word diddly squat. I never used that. But actually, first of all, was there any more tanks down here? That's the worst thing you can do. When you're doing a bonus stage, you want to make sure you get everything. You don't want to miss one little thing. No, I think we did pretty good. So we're going to be heading to the Buccaneer program. And for those who don't know what the Buccaneer program is, it's a pirate level. It's a freaking pirate level. It's pretty awesome. I get a lot of nostalgia from that level as well. And if you guys have played uh, Gex Free, which I hope you have because it's a freaking amazing game. Full of nostalgia awesomeness. And uh, yeah, we're going to be a pirate. We're going to be a freaking pirate right after we get out of this tank. I've had enough of being an army soldier for one day, okay. My toes crunched up just then and nearly broke because I didn't want to fall off the ledge. What? I don't even know what happened just then. I'm just glad we're okay. You and me, people. To the end. To the end of time. Okay, right, that somehow magically made a bridge appear for us. Hitting bullseyes do, uh, does that. I was going to say do's that. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? My IQ. Come on, Danny. Keep it up. I don't know why we can destroy these Gex uh, statues. I have no idea why we can do that. It's just, just there, I suppose. How many more freaking tanks have we got to destroy, man? I want to be a pirate. Get out of here. Ugh. Is that it? Did we do it? Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that gives us a bonus code that we can use for the vault. And if you guys have just tuned into my channel, welcome, first of all. But um, I hope you watched uh, the previous episodes that I did of this uh, game. Um, you will know that the vault is actually um, some sort of cheat area where you can enter those codes and get all kinds of goodies. I uh, just gotta swim. Gotta swim, gotta swim. There we go. And we come in here, and oh my god, we're inside a boat. Where the hell is T-Pain? Oh wait, it's on the boat, okay. We hit these chests, and look, we get ourselves some bug coins. But that's not too important right now. Right now is we karate kick our way down here like a boss, jump over the TV like more of a boss, and we enter Buccaneer Program. And we're going to start off by surviving the Wall of Death. The Wall of Death. You heard it, people. One of the only games that I've played where a wall can actually kill me. Alright, so first of all, we're going to come over here and we're going to grab ourselves a bonus coin. Straight away, look at that. And we come up here and we climb this amazing sort of bone textured wall here. Hit this switch and that should put a cannon there because we're going to need this cannon to get through there. A giant hypnotizing skull. Let's grab that poor coin actually, that can come in handy. Doing pretty good for health. Okay, right, let's just bust this joint open. <laughs> oh, I love when you hit the eyes there and the skull opens up and it's like, yo. 
We're Captain Jack Gecko, people. Get out of here, rat. You ain't got nothing on me. Look at this. We're, we're, we're encountering skeletons now. You know, the skeletons that we saw with Rez right at the start of this game, that means we're making good progress. We're making amazing progress. Yeah, I thought the eyes on that were following me. I'm trying to think whether that happens in the N64 version or the PS1 version. I'm not too sure. But we need to go over there. And you see that karate kick icon over there? That little sign on the wall? That means we have to take that to our advantage and actually do what the sign is telling us. Gets us another ball coin. Quite relevant if we're going for 100% completion, if I do add that. Uh, karate kick. There we go. And because the game is so generous, it gives us a ladder so we can get back up here again. Oh man. This is becoming a platformer, isn't it? I don't do platformers too well. There we go. I have no idea what that noise was. But it sounded right. So we're going to karate kick our way over here as well. With our towel. And you don't have to do this, but you can, and I quite like it. It makes it a little bit easier for us. Puts a cannon up there. And I think we get to that by climbing this bone textured wall here as well. With the amazing green eyes on the skulls. That is amazing, I love it. You jump on this thing here. And then look at that, more skeletons. And they're duck, they're like, well, what the hell, man? And then you just blow them to pieces. He wasn't even expecting that one. We're too pro. So, so, so pro. Okay, right. And we're just going to fly over here. By karate kicking, not with wings, because... Why the freaking hell would Gex have wings? That would be a little bit random. Jump on the barrel. I'm surprised I haven't messed this up, actually, because... Uh, I have done that a few times, trust me. I have done that a few times. There we go. Lovely stuff. And what this is right here, people, this is where the Wall of Death is. You see that? It's the Wall of Death. Didn't you guys know? No, 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 don't no. get in there. There we go. Awesome source. We just jump down here. Try not to get crushed. And there's the trusty remote. How many freaking remotes have we got now, anyways? Let's have a look. We have uh, 18 remotes. That is pretty badass. I don't think we could have done that any better. And this time we're going to sink four pirate ships. Because that's what you do on a pirate ship. You sink other pirate ships. Like pirates. I get Hold the game still. Right, now the thing that I really hate about the Buccaneer program is it starts you off all the way back here again. But don't you guys worry, I'm going to get us through this pretty quick. Pretty darn quickly, because I know the quickest way of getting back to the uh, the wall of death. Oh yes, I know. Speaking mechanical skull you. Those skills. Those, those skills. Yeah, these guys are freaking tough. They can dodge, man. Not dodge, they can... Look, they can block with their sword. Let's ignore him. We don't need to do that. We're on a mission. We're actually doing pretty well as well. Okay, right, now what we're going to do, uh, let's see, yeah, we're going to actually skip all of that and jump straight down here, and jump straight down here as well. And crank this bad boy up. And we're going to just jump straight across like that. Uh, do I bother with the switch? No, I'm not going to even bother with that this time. Screw it, I don't need no switch and no cannon. I'm... <gasps> oh, okay, right, I nearly had a heart attack. I thought we were going to get knocked off. Thanks to swinging barrels. That would have uh, made me eat my words, wouldn't it? Screw you, man. Right. We're going back to the uh, moving wall of death. See if I can get to that before it kills me. No. Okay, maybe not. Never mind. I tried to be cocky. I tried my luck with the wall. I've never played a game where a wall can actually kill you. 
I'm sure you guys probably haven't either. That's that's a rare thing to find in a video game these days. Be very, very careful. The wall can kill you. So we ignore this remote because we've already got it and we just come through here now. Bit of a pain in the ass having to do all this again, but uh, like I said, it is quicker if you just do what I just did. And I'm trying to remember where we actually have to go on this ship. Um, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, we just jump straight down here. You can kill this skeleton if you want, I prefer to, because he just gets in the way like a douchebag. And we come through here. You don't have to karate kick to that, but I do it anyway, it's a nice touch. And you just got to destroy this uh, random boat that's just sailing around in circles. It's actually really, really creepy. I have no idea why it's creepy, but it just it just looks creepy. You You have a look at the second one. It's exactly the same, by the way, but just have a look at it for a second. I mean, that that is actually really, really creepy, isn't it? Look at his face! What is he smoking? Okay, right, um... Let's go to the third and fourth boats. And grab this pork coin while we're at it. It's like nine pork coins. I mean, we're actually doing pretty well for that now. Let's have a look. How is our stats faring up? There's only three more poor coins. Two more bonus coins around here somewhere as well. I may have to pick those up. I mean, we are doing 100% completion after all, so that would make perfect sense. Oh, ahoy. Oh, ahoy. You ain't got nothing on this, Gecko. I'm Captain Jack Gecko. This one's actually a bit faster. There we go. And they don't even fire back at you either. Not as far as I know, anyway. They just go in around in circles, uh like random pirate ships do, I suppose. Oh, this one's taking little intervals. He's pausing and going. Okay. I see what you're doing. She's starting to feel like space invaders now. Come on. Oh, that was a shot. Stay still. I want to sink your ship. Are you serious right now? Come on. No! Freaking hell, man! Thank you. Okay. Right, that's the fourth and final pirate ship that we had to sink, and there's our remote. That was amazing, sir. Well done. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't even know where the hell you are. He keeps on praising us up, but he does nothing to contribute. Where are you, man? What are you doing? Okay. Oh, wow, there's another poor coin. We are racking these up. I need to try and remember where those bonus coins are. Why is there a parrot trying to kill me? Come on, come and get it. Come on, come and get it. Come on. Come and get it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, no, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother with you, man. You're just a pain in my ass. We're actually gonna just zip wire down to the uh, to the remote. After I get this poor coin, of course. I think that's like the ninth one here now. Yeah, probably. Yes. Hail time. Yes, we have a winner. And third and finally, we're gonna zip on down to the TV. Darushi blows. All right, let's make this quick again. Like I said, this is a pain in the ass, honestly. I don't like having to do this over and over again, but what can you do? It's a video game. So how many of you guys have heard this, the um, the band Ailstorm? That is a really awesome band. If you guys haven't heard them, you should definitely check them out. They're uh, like a heavy metal pirate band. I've never heard anything like it, but for some reason while I'm playing this, I actually have them in my mind. Alright, so we're just going to climb across this wall because we have another bonus coin to get. I quickly checked online uh, to find out where the hell it was because um, they've actually hit this one extremely well, believe it or not. And I've actually died like two times since, uh, yeah, since then. So I'm not in a very, very, very happy mood because of that. But you know what? We're still making progress. We're still going to complete this game like bosses. Don't you worry. Oh, 
Oh my god, okay. Thank you, game. Thank you. I really didn't think we were going to do that. And I'm being dead serious. I nearly reconsidered doing 100% completion on this game just because of this bit here. Ah, that might be the 10th poor coin. Yes, I think that's it. Okay, that was close. Okay, we're nearly home free, guys. We're nearly there. <laughs> I love that. I really do love that. Okay. So that's 98. Uh, maybe this parrot will give us two? No. Okay, guys. So this is where the bonus coin is. It's in a really, really stupid place. It's down there. I'm not even freaking kidding right now. It's down there and I can't even see down there. Oh, look down, man. Uh, yeah, it's down there. We're gonna be, be so uber careful right now. Oh god, here we go, 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 there we go. Right, awesome. There's the last bonus coin. Right. That settles that. Okay, right, let's find the last bug coin. We're still looking for one last bug coin. How annoying is that? This has happened several times during, like, previous levels. There's always one bug coin that tries to screw things over for us. There we go, I found it. Okay, right. And we're gonna zip wire our way straight into the end of this level. Yes, we have a winner. There we go. Whew. Okay, so that's the Buccaneer program completed. Thank fudge for that. Okay, right, well. Um, get out of here, man. Dealt with enough crap this episode. Okay, yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm feeling an episode here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying Gex 3. And you'll join me in part 7. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.